Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this reading. If you haven't checked out part one, a link for that will be in the description box below. Now, since I ended off the last reading with a whole bunch of D's, I feel like somebody name could start with a D uh, in this situation. I don't know. I keep hearing degenerate. It's not funny, but I keep hearing degenerates. Okay. Disgusting. Despicable. Like all these D's. And that's that's significant to somebody here. Okay, your name can start with a D in, or somebody in your family or something like that. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Those karmic relationship. Mm, mm, mm. And that one to come go in reverse. So somebody definitely got rid of uh, a karmic relationship. Now, this soulmate connection. Um, oh. <sighs> I'm trying to tell you, and I touched on this in the first reading. Um, there's lower level soulmates in somebody's family here that was getting someone to go in the other direction, but they were spying on the person that they know brings them wish fulfillment. Okay. This is somebody's in-laws, somebody's family members. Okay. Um, these will also be people that either you or whoever this is was going to for support. Okay. And if that's the case, somebody, somebody took the wrong advice and that's why we got free will here. This was your choice. Ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business. Uh, uh, you know, we are all grown here. Somebody gives family too much leeway or too much um, authority in their life. Somebody is fearful of living. It's almost as if somebody wants to be able to blame someone else for the decisions that they're made. And they're being called to step up to the plate. Because somebody is a divine, um, they're on a, like a divine pathway, like a divine feminine, divine masculine here. So you have to develop your intuition. You also have to develop your people skills. And, and uh, someone's being tested by family. It's like, uh, it's almost as if, you know, somebody has blind faith or they live in this um, bubble. Maybe they grew, grew up isolated. I don't know. Secluded or thinking that they should have this blind faith of their family, regardless if their family are is deceitful or not. Some people believe that, you know, once upon a time, I believe that as well. But when you do that, you got to be prepared to take on their karma. And will they do that for you? More than likely, no. And you don't find that out until you're in a situation where you're grieving, you're hurting, you're ill, you're, and then you find out other people's true intentions because this is a soulmate. This is for soul development, soul growth. What a catch in heart with the key. So their heart was once open to this person. Okay. But I do feel like for some of you, you are this DM. You are this divine feminine or this is about them. You were trying to convince this person or it is currently trying to do that. And they're running from you. Because we got a heart with the key here. And then we got the way through with the key in reverse. Y'all see that? That's in reverse. Yes, you have a telepathic connection with this person. Yes, for some of you, your feelings are valid and or you're right, right on the money. However, I would like to say it again. When you chase something, it runs from you. Now, somebody was sp spying on someone's family or someone's family is spying on you. This could also be someone doing some sort of psychic manipulation or getting readings on you. Somebody's know, somebody knows that you've released something, okay? They're also aware that they made a mistake or you may be realizing where you went wrong. The Five of Wands, why is this here? Either show me. Glam it up. So somebody was trying to sugarcoat the skiznat. 
okay? Somebody's currently trying to act as if everything is okay. This person could have a shopping addiction. They don't want to look. Somebody got an unhealthy addiction here where it, it it's like somebody's somebody has escapism issues. Somebody also goes along to get along because they feel like they're going to get something in the end. This is someone that will be, oh, we're family. I ain't never do you like that. Meanwhile, they're taking bribes. OK, they're straddling the fence. And what I mean by that, they're playing both sides. They're telling you one thing about somebody else going back and telling the other person something about you. Playing monkey in the middle. And they use that. They use it. I ain't taking those sides. Well, I mean, you know, in this situation, you got to take a side, even if that side is your own side. Stay out of people's business. Ace of Wands, why is this here? Yes, I'm coming off really harsh, but I'm going to tell you like this. People get tired of people thinking that they can manipulate others, gaslight others, bend the will of others, whether, if it, whether this is your soulmate, twin flame, it's about free will. If you haven't learned that lesson yet, then you're going to be stuck. You can't bend nobody's will. Focus on yourself. And because somebody's will got bended, or somebody attempted, if this is a group of people that was attempting to persuade someone else, if they had a new beginning, it's been forfeited. Okay? But this is also someone that advised someone not to go towards you or you advise someone not to go towards somebody else. And it blocked off your heart space and blocked off whoever this is manifestation. And somebody's in regret. Because whoever they did this to, this was a milestone that they had to. This is a test. Somebody got structured. This led whoever this is into structure, into focusing on their own path, their own goals, their own success. If you were operating out of lust or you had a lust, lustful connection, it's possibly in the process of being transformed. Look at that. Oh, and because it's being transformed, <laughs> somebody's angry, as above, so below. This happened in the ethereal realm. You got God, universal life force source, already knew what was going to happen. So something was resolved, or as soon as you got wind of it, or whoever this person is like, they, they figured out where they went wrong and something was lifted. If they sent something to you, tried to curse, slander, manipulate you, possibly online. Oh, man, I feel like people walked away. That was a careless mistake right there because it shined a light on this person. Somebody wanted someone to not feel supported, but it, it opened up. The pathway of people that were experiencing the same frequency or energy as whoever they were doing this to, people became empathetic and sympathetic to the person that it was being done to. Yeah, they attracted people on their vibration to collaborate with them, but this was all like a setup and a test. This has something to do with somebody's celebrity status, fame, with Capricorn being here. This could be about somebody's commitments, but this is, you know, Capricorn, we're talking about the yields of energy, we're talking about stronghold. We're talking about success. If I didn't say it, I'll say it again. Hold on, let me close this window. Oh, man. My apologies, y'all. Um... Let me stop it for a minute. I got that whole little feeling of disturbing the peace. And as soon as I turn the camera on, it start back up. Um, somebody likes to seek attention. 
They want all eyes on them. Okay. This is someone that is not um, cognizant about their energy and how it affects other people um, in, in their environment. Like it's just distasteful is what I'm getting. If this is not the way someone views you or you view this person, this is the energy of these pe people. They're, they're self-absorbed. Okay. Um, Nine of Cups, why is this here? It's like um, disturbing the peace, like disturbing your peace through attention seeking. Nine of Cups, why is this? Everything is uh, relevant in a reading. Okay, because my my environment was peaceful up until the, this person pulled up with their music. Um, you know, and you and how are you gonna have a conversation with somebody with your music that loud? Like it, it don't even make no sense. Um, we got playing the field in reverse. Okay, so somebody is letting go of the need to spread themselves thin. This person is operating, or you, you're operating more from your heart space. If somebody is content with self-preservation, this may have been very hard for you to do or for this person to do, but it's being done, okay? This is something that was well needed. Somebody started focusing on themselves, on their own energy, is also what I'm picking up, okay? Um, and they did so by withdrawing. Whether they withdrew from a person, an activity, um, or just the energy of always needing people, okay? Now, this don't even make no sense, all that noise. Um, Two of coins, yeah, coffee. Somebody would, tr somebody stopped drinking, or somebody was over amped, like uh, animated. Um, um, what is the word? This is somebody that like like cartoonish or something. Okay, um, somebody was also making decisions out of adrenaline. You know. They were making decisions out of adrenaline. So somebody definitely withdrew an offer, okay, or an offer was turned down. This coffee cup always gives me ace of, uh, ace of cups, okay? So somebody was let down by a person or a collaboration. Um, yeah. The star card, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. There could be um, arguments, again, taking place because somebody wants to move forward. Somebody's worried about titles. Look at that. And if I didn't say it in this reading, you know, whoever they decided to partner up with was just as deceitful, possibly even more. If they gave this person an offer, there was no love surrounding it. It was only for self-gratification. It was for temptation. Um, somebody's not really aroused by someone. You're not aroused by this person or they're not aroused by you. This person has to get intoxicated to do so. This could also be someone that overindulged. Okay. And now they're just disinterested. Somebody just gave themselves too much in a situation. The lovers. Why is this here? All these cards coming out. Staying in. Okay, so yeah, someone's no longer going along to get along. This person may have ghosted. I feel like this is a third party, but this could be you. This person may have ghosted whoever this is. They completed something. They they figured out why they were in this situation or you did. Okay, somebody's coming out of their shell because they're more balanced here. Someone is no longer going along to get along. For some of you, somebody's still stuck in this situation. I am not going to lie to you. Is 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 someone trying to convince? So I don't know. I feel like this is somebody that watches all the wrong readings. Okay, um, this could be someone that you know watches a lot of twin flame readings. 
um, and the readings aren't necessarily for them, at least not at that time. It's like uh, character development. Again, I got to speak on that. It's like you got to be happy and whole with yourself. Okay? And somebody's not open to anything outside of they're coming in, they're coming in. This is your DM. And it's like somebody's missing the mark here. They're needing to look more closely at themselves. Um, for some of you, if you know that you have released this energy of people pleasing, going along to get along, operating out of lust, somebody's contract, karmic or whatever, is paying close attention to you. This could be through forms of divination. Okay, they want to see if this person is coming in. They want to see if your wishes is being granted or if you are granting a wish uh, for someone else. But because someone did a lot of chaos and conflict with all these stories here, it keeps them in their mind. Okay. Somebody's very much uh, um, worried about what the way they appear to others or what somebody what someone else is doing. Okay. Or what, yeah, or where someone else is going, okay? And uh, I feel like this is somebody's uh, DM or X or something like that. And so I feel like they, this person, are you, you're turning into this king of swords. You're speaking a blunt, honest truth, and you're moving forward. Because somebody doesn't feel loved in this situation, and they keep thinking about someone else. That's what makes it even worse. It's like they're being drawn to their higher self. Which is ultimately their higher purpose, sweetheart. Something fell on the floor. Let's see. The runner. <laughs> King of Swords. So somebody's trying to run from a, a commitment here from somebody that was wicked. Somebody also is overindulging, spending, trying to impress someone. Okay. So somebody's on the hunt. They're on the prowl for someone new. Because they feel like, look at this. What they have is not sufficient. Now for some of you, somebody feels like what they have, well, whoever this is, is not enough. They may feel that way about you. You may feel that way about this person. Uh, for some of you, somebody is leaving a situation with somebody that is wicked, having to take this King of Swords stance and speak a truth. And now they're coming out of their shell, male or female. Somebody is dating or they're looking to date. Um, and if that's the case, somebody could be traveling to a different country, you know, like are going to different races, um, you know, somebody's adventurous. They're, they're opening up. Okay, I mean, their horizons, they're opening up their mind to different people. This is somebody that's not judgmental, but they're having to speak a truth to the people in their environment. This could be you. This could be about your person. Okay, but I just like to say that somebody, though, their energy is to push people into healing. So for some of you, because this King of Swords in the upright and the uh, moon in Sagittarius is all in the upright, this is this person's calling. They're not going to operate out of their heart space. This is like a uh, seductress, uh, incubus, succubus type of energy. So they're, they're on the prowl. So take it out, it resonates. Three of Wands, look at that. The one that got away. Projection for your protection and boundaries. Okay. It doesn't matter. So somebody doesn't care about this situation. Somebody's being humbled. Okay. Um, the full card in reverse. Why is this here? The storm is over now. And we got the barons. And didn't I tell you that somebody was into a cult? Somebody was going to the crossroads. Somebody who's dealing with gay day spirits. And we got the spirit of unalive. 
for some of you, somebody went to the crossroads because you released them or you, you gave or shared some information that caused them to be, be released and they don't want to take accountability. They want to blame other people. They could have went to their family and said that. We got loss of stamina, status, rank, or divine spark. Someone doesn't feel important because the site, look at this. And we, and we got, <laughs> say they doing spell work without doing, say they doing spell We got the Cursed Valley and the Occult Masters here. This place is the place of the angels. This place is the prison of the angels. And here they will be in prison forever. It's like somebody sold their soul to someone or for someone that they ain't even happy with. Um, metaphorically or literally. Uh, playing the field. Somebody really felt like they, they either felt like they were going to get you back or you felt like you can get this person back. Somebody is self up. Look at this. You guess no more of Zaddy a Payanga Yangi. You got him, but you couldn't keep him. And oh, most definitely, they went to the depths of H E double hockey sticks to make sure that they kept this person involved with them. Um, I did a reading, but because they've been doing heavy manipulation, trying to slow me down, you may not have seen that reading. What was the name of oh, they're taking losses left and right. This is this is attached to that reading, most definitely. Cupid's arrow. Why is this here? Something was rejected. This new opportunity that somebody was trying to man uh, manifest. I was going to say manipulate. <sighs> Loved and respected. Powerful spirit and idealized. So this is what this person did not want you to get this. And that's why we got the one that got away. Rejection for your protection. For some of you, this is a false masculine and or a DM or somebody that you was married to. You can have children with this person. It could be all three of these people with the three of wands here in reverse. They were doing a lot in secret. Um, and a lot it was being done in secret to them. If they had a spouse that was doing this, they were cheating on that spouse OK. And um, somebody just didn't like your glow, your manifestation, your unbotheredness <laughs> or whoever this is. So, you know, they wanted you to be bothered because this person still vib vibrates very low. They feel like they need other people. Scared girl, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Two cards, wonderful, because I'm getting up out of here. Something you said or thought was taken the wrong way. And this is what happens when you spy on people. And people in deceitful energy, they always think of the negative energy is about them. People on a balanced perspective, they take it with a grain of salt. It's a warning to them. But people that operate in negativity and they know they did something wrong, they got a guilty conscience. Okay? We got never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the field. Somebody lacks faith. And they definitely took something out of context here. <laughs> this person is not open-minded. They didn't want somebody or you didn't want somebody to be open minded. Um, for some of you, somebody just didn't believe that they could be cursed or there was with someone that was cursing you. OK, they just didn't want to believe it. Oh, they believe it now because they're in this energy of being stuck. Stuck with the bill, stuck with the karma, stuck with the debt. Um, your feelings are valid. We got mourning and grief. Okay, we got the superconscious. 
Rapid growth, infinite intelligence, and unlimited potential. There's a rebirth here after an ending. Or somebody knows something is ending. Um, before I close out this reading. Let me get this paradise because I'm interested in this coffee cup. Why is paradise here? Release in the process. <laughs> something was already written. Something is written. Something is being documented. We got to create. So somebody was trying to create some unlawfulness is what I'm picking up. To bring something or something into existence. To produce something as a result or make something happen. To use imagination to invent things or produce words of art. Outcome. The way is closed. Caution. If you hurry, nothing can be achieved. Action. Trust. They were able to trust themselves. Somebody didn't want someone to trust in you. Take it how it resonates. Or you didn't want this person to, to look trustworthy. Coffee cup, why is this here? You can show me what it is. And all these come out on the sleep on it. Practical. Submissiveness. <laughs> somebody felt like somebody was a logical choice here. Um, but they, you know, they were a snake in the grass. I feel like maybe at one point, this person was submissive, but once they got this collaboration, they became the queen of swords. Again, I talked about you becoming the queen of swords. That's what you had in common. So this, okay, let me explain this. This third person, okay, had already been scorned. So they were already in the queen of swords. You met up with this person or they met up with you so they can learn how to build boundaries, keep boundaries in place, and steal boundaries with people that want to play them. So we got the Queen of Swords here and the Queen uh, and the King of Swords there. This is a married couple. And that's why I feel like for some of you, this is somebody that you have a child with, somebody you were married to, and or someone somebody else is married to that's coming up against you. But this could also be two people that is in disagreement as well. Moderation. So somebody needed to slow down and they didn't take heed. We got sincerity. Honesty in the expression of true or deep feelings. Okay, so I feel like you did speak a truth. Because sincerity, uh, you know, technically speaking, um, the queen of swords is someone that is honest. Even if it, it may appear harsh. But this is something that needed to happen. And again, that's why someone needs to turn into this queen of swords to protect their peace. All right. So I hope I gave you some clarity. Deuces.